Hello and welcome to Hating TV. So I'm back moving more dung heaps. Um, I think we've done, f I've done five or six now. Uh, obviously not going to show everyone every single one because that would be tedious. Uh, but Adam's been trimming today. Still, it's not quite dry enough for us to get in field properly. We have done a couple of fields. Uh, again. But we're just constantly getting hit by rainfall and having to stop. Uh, but I don't think there's actually much more on the side of uh, road hedges have virtually got to do left for ourselves. We do do a little small bit of uh, hedging and contracting, but not really very much anymore. But uh, I've got a fair few loads to do, I think, this evening, because the last time I went to the this evening, I didn't quite finish it last year. So I expect there to be a fair bit. So we better get on with it. So again, we've got another tight one. Little alley there, through here, dung heaps there. You know, there's, there's always something somewhere. If this dropped any more than it already does, the Telliam will be able to bloody melt down, telling me it's going to tip over, even though it's not going to. But, a job's a job. In this COVID world, I think everyone is going to start appreciating work is work. It's also handy that this customer uses straw and not shavings, so they don't take as long to break down. middle to bottom is dark black which is absolutely perfect Like this, with 
this bucket grab on full got to be really careful because the bucket grab itself is heavy really heavy The Teleander has only got one set of spools. Each summer tip, which I said in the last video, I've got to take or after I've tipped, you can't just free flow the trailer back down again. You actually got to hold your thumb on the button and lower it. Which means then after I've done that, my tail's still up, so I've got to rechange my pipes over. back the tail so then as I go back up the road I will let the tail down on the way back to the job but I've got to watch where I hang my pipes because I just got the ends buddy usually they don't reach down but this time they are so so, I'll get that tail lowered. Boom. Tail's down. Fortunately, the tail's fast out acting. It did have um, valves in it originally, so it went up really slowly and down really slowly. Well, we took those out because it was just too slow. But now, that's all back. All I've got to do a second, I didn't do it a minute ago is to make sure my tipping pipe doesn't sort of you know move around or hit the road on my back there's a piece of string here if you twist it tie a loop that because it's always pulling it'll just hold it so that's just a handy little way for it to travel which just stops it sort of hitting the road as I just said, wobbling around, getting tied up in something because of this, which keeps all the pipes together, it's, it can't be separated and we like it like that because when it's on the fast tracks, everything's always in. It's only when I'm on a telehandler that I need to do something with it. So, little bit of string, string, every farmer's friend. What has, some of you in the comments, what have you made with string? Because to my knowledge, we've done fencing, little things like on the back of here, fixing gates with string. String great for anything. So leave a, leave a comment below on what you fix with string. String, apart from a dog, farmer's best friend. So we're back. Here we go again. Another thing on these yards is steep, hardly any angles. So to make sure the trailer doesn't roll away, uh, this yard especially, I make sure the back tire on this side is going into this bank. So after I've done two or three loads usually, I end up making a nice little groove, but that way I know it's not going anywhere. Yes those of you that sort of go oh just put the handbrake on when it's full up with dung in on someone else's property i would rather there was something behind it already so it can't roll opposed to a handbrake that may fail so being it's in the bank it ain't going nowhere
I am now on my third load. I've got one load left after this, which I'm going to stop recording in a minute because it is just too dark. Uh, and I just want to get on. I'm sure we've all all been in those feelings where we just want to get on. If anyone's having the questions like, or why are you doing this job in the dark when it'd be so much easier in daylight? Well, obviously through the day, we're either bailing, delivering, customers coming in, so we just don't have time for it. So that's why they get sort of left for like evening jobs. This one ain't too bad because it's just like, it's not even a mile away. But a lot of these places are just really tight. So any of you youngsters at the moment that are looking for like, dad said you can use the gear that you got and you're going out, then you want to go out and find some work to do, especially if you just want some beer money, this really isn't a bad one. And you can bring back more manure to your ground. Like, and at the end of the day, we all know ground gets sheep sick, cow sick, with the lime, all sorts. Well, if you have a bit of everything, you end up being a bit more balanced. Um, it's, a, it's one of the same things. Animals aren't supposed to eat a single type of feed. The ground isn't supposed to have a single type of animal. Um, it just gets sick. It needs a diversity to improve it. And this is what you know. This is just this is just what we think. It's not like there might be a few of you that disagree. There might be a few of you that agree. But it works for us. Um, but when what I was getting to anyway is. When you're thinking of pricing up a job, don't just take into account of per load of whatever you're taking away or whatever you're doing. Also account for the time it's gonna take you wiggling in around a yard, the time of like, so this yard where I've got to turn, I've got to turn around in a little bit and I've got to drop the trailer off and then rehitch it up to pull myself away and now, I didn't record that bit because it's not fair because they've got their tools there, basically. So I don't really want to film that. Um, but all these little extra maneuvers and things you've got to do to complete the job. Like if someone went and did the same job that I'm just doing with a six ton little tip trailer and a little tractor, you wouldn't have to do half the little things that I've got to. I up the price on one, capacity of this train is 20 ton. Two, I up the price because it takes me more time to do all the wiggling, all the maneuvers. So it's all adult. But that's that. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you haven't yet done so, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram. We have merch on eBay. There are black t-shirts turning up. Uh, there are some other things turning up very soon. Also, if you haven't yet done so, please hit that subscribe. That'd be amazing. Helps us a lot. Uh, give us a thumbs up. We would love to start hitting 1,000 likes on the video. I mean, mate, it, it helps us out tremendously if you can. And ring the bell if you'd like to be notified whenever myself or if you're all short on us or both of us are on. Anyway, you're probably fed up with me. Gotta say, 